Hey friends, I'm Nayasha Chikawori, author of Giraffe Asks for Help. It's published by Imagination Press, a children's book imprint of the American Psychological Association. I have my giraffe ears ready, so let's read the story. Giraffe Asks for Help. Good morning, Gary Giraffe exclaimed as the sun came up outside his window. Today was Gary's sixth birthday, which is a big deal for giraffes. He would finally be tall enough to reach the best leaves from the giant acacia trees. He ran to look in the mirror and saw that his circle and square shaped spots were getting darker. Yes, I'm getting older, Gary yelled with glee. Gary's dad looked over at him and shook his long neck. Gary, your baby sisters are still sleeping. Can you quiet down? And happy birthday, son. Thanks, Dad, Gary yelled again. He looked back in the mirror and stuck out his super long tongue. I can't wait to get leaves with you. Gary's dad shook his neck again. Let's go, Gary. The early giraffe gets the good leaves. As Gary and his dad walked along, Neighborhood animals wish Gary a happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy sixth birthday, Gary. Gary had the biggest, widest smile on his face. Ty Tickbird flew over and landed right on top of Gary's head. Happy birthday, good friend of mine, he squawked in Gary's ear. Tickbirds hang out with giraffes a lot. They eat the bugs off of them and let them know when trouble is near. Ty was Gary's best friend in the whole world. Ty, I'm finally going to eat the good leaves today. I can't wait, Gary said happily. Ty smiled. He'd known Gary all of his life, and one thing he knew for sure was that Gary was super duper clumsy. He was always stumbling over his skinny legs. Gary and his dad reached the acacia tree that most of the tall giraffes ate from each day. Okay, Gary, reach for the greenest, shiniest leaves you can find, his dad said. Gary nervously stepped up towards the tree, tripping a little on his way there. Gary got on his tippy hooves and pushed out his long neck for some scrumptious looking acacia leaves way at the top. Closer, closer, splat. Ouch, Gary's dad and Ty said as they covered their eyes. Poor Gary. Gary got up and tried again. He stuck his long tongue out first, then pushed his neck up. Plonk. This time he fell sideways. Okay, Gary. That's enough. Let's try again tomorrow, Gary's dad said. Gary walked with his head down the whole way home. Better luck next time, Gary, Ty screeched, trying to cheer his friend up. Gary stared out his window at the other giraffes his age, eating the leaves from up high with no problem. Humph, Gary said. If they can do it, why can't I? He couldn't give up. Suddenly, he had an idea. Gary rushed in and out of the house, gathering up a bucket, a wagon, and a stool. This should do the trick, Gary said, as he dragged his items back towards the trees. The other giraffe stopped chewing to see what Gary was up to. He put the wagon down, the stool on top of the wagon, and the bucket on top of the stool. Gary put his first hoof on top of the wobbly stool, got the second one up, and then, what do you guys think happened? Crash. Gary came tumbling down. Help, Ty called to Gary. Help, Gary asked. Yeah, Ty said. When you can't do something all by yourself, you ask a friend or family member to help. Help. Ty, I'm six years old. I should be able to reach the leaves alone, Gary pouted. 
I'm 10 years old, and I still ask my mom and dad for help with hunting, Chris Cheetah said. I ask for help too, Eli Elephant trumpeted. Sometimes I need help scratching my back. I'm 30, and I ask my friends for help with my mane, Larry Lion roared as he walked up with his pride. Gary smiled. He really wanted to reach the leaves himself. But if all these animals could ask for help, he could too. Help! Gary was excited to test it out. Okay, friends, I need help, said Gary. He explained how he kept falling over when he tried to reach the good leaves. Gary, Ty, Chris, Eli, and Larry put their heads together. We've got it, they yelled together. Armed with a plan, Gary and his friends went straight to the acacia trees. Gary stood under the biggest, fullest tree he could find. Chris climbed up the tree and pushed down a branch where the group was standing. Eli and Larry wrapped a trunk and arms around Gary's legs to help keep him from falling, while Ty directed Gary to the best leaves. Gary stretched his neck as far as it would go. Closer closer, and he got it. They were the juiciest, sweetest leaves he'd ever tasted. Cheers rang out from the onlookers. Gary, Gary, Gary. Gary was full of leaves that night and the happiest giraffe in town. He now knew that whenever he was in a bind or stuck in a rut, all he had to do was ask for help. The end. Wow, Gary went through a lot during this story, and I hope you enjoyed listening to it. Here are some things you could talk about. Who are some people you can ask to help you? What are ways that you can ask for help? And what are some things that you can ask for help with? Could it be things like cleaning your room? Things like baking cookies? I hope you enjoy your discussion. Thanks again. <laughs>